I mean, really, why should the winners get all the credit? One thing all domestiques have in common is sacrifice. They ride not for themselves, but for the good of the team. Here we look at the top 10 domestiques of the 2015 season. Belgian squad Lotto Sudal boasts an all-star list of domestiques, but one rider who stands out is German Marcel Zieberg. During the Cobblestone Classics, Zieberg pilots Tony Gallopin and Jens Dubouchere through the chaos. At the Tour de France, Zieberg is the man who kickstarts Andre Greipel's lead-out train in the closing kilometers. Even on a closely knit team like Lado Sudal, Zieberg is recognized as a domestique extraordinaire. In 2015, Garrett Thomas, Luke Rowe, and Ian Stannard were among the best cobblestone classics riders in the sport. They then turned it around and rode in support of Chris Froome at the Tour de France. They were all fantastic in July, but Thomas rode exceptionally throughout the first two weeks of the Tour, sitting fourth overall heading into the final mountain stage. As for Kirienka, well, there's no rider more capable of methodically pulling along the entire peloton than the world time trial champion. He's a machine, a metronome, and one of the most feared domestiques in all of pro cycling. BMC Racing is another team filled with stellar domestiques. With riders like Daniel Oss, Manuel Quinziato, and Samuel Sanchez, trying to narrow it down to just one wasn't easy. But since we had to, we're going to go with Swiss rider Mikael Scher. Scher rode in support of TJ Van Garderen at the Dauphiné and the Tour de France. When Rohan Dennis took overall victories at the Tour Down Under and the USA Pro Challenge, Scher was there as well. And he played a role in Greg Van Avermaet's podium finishes at the Tour of Flanders and Perry roubaix When John Degenkolb won Milano San Remo and Perry roubaix Kuhn de Court was there. When Tom Dumoulin led the Vuelta a España in the final week of the race, Kuhn de Court was there as well. On a team stacked with solid support riders, the Dutch Kuhn de Court has carved out a niche for himself as one of the most valuable, versatile domestiques in the sport. Astana had two men on the podium at the Giro d'Italia and the overall winner at the Vuelta a España, and Kazakh rider Andre Zeitz was there for both faithfully driving the peloton day in and day out. His work is often done in the early hours of a stage before TV cameras capture the action. In 2015, Edix Quickstep won 54 races with 15 different riders. Riders like Yves Lampart, Nicholas Mass, and Julian Vermote were the unsung heroes doing the yeoman's work behind the scenes. But if you had to choose one man from this squad as your domestique, you'd probably go with Tony Martin. They call him the Panzerwagen for a reason. He truly is a German tank, capable of steamrolling the peloton or single-handedly reeling back a breakaway all on his own. Colombian winner Anacona made his Tour de France debut this summer, riding in support of Movistar teammates Nairo Quintana and Alejandro Valverde. Considering they finished second and third overall, I'd say he did his job. After finishing third behind Roman Bardet on stage 18, Anaconda returned to domestic duties on the final mountain stage, dropping back from an early breakaway to pace Quintana up the Alpe d'Huez, where his compatriot made one last late attempt to win the tour. Australian Matthew Heyman doesn't win many races, but he's part of the glue that holds the Orica Green Edge team together. In 2015, he rode in a support role at a wide array of races, such as Milano San Remo for Michael Matthews, Terreno Adriatico for Adam Yates, and the Vuelta España for Esteban Chavez. Aussie veteran Michael Rogers didn't have quite the season in 2015 as he'd had one year earlier when he won mountain stages at both the Giro d'Italia and the Tour de France but he was back at both races, one of only three Tinkoff riders, along with Ivan Basso and Roman Kreuziger, to make up Alberto Contador's support squad in his attempt at the Giro Tour double. Rogers' years of experience proved vital at the Giro, where Astana challenged Contador throughout the race. And though he's getting on in years, Rogers remains one of the most valuable and respected domestiques in pro cycling. 
So those are our top 10 domestiques of the 2015 season. A bit subjective, we realize. Who did we miss? Let us know in the comment section below. And I know you will. For a video on exactly what a domestique is and how teams use all of their riders, click right up here. For a video on how a team sets up its lead out train for a sprint, click down here. And to subscribe to GCN, well, just click on my rainbow jersey mug right here.